welcome to the White House for another Christmas season. I'm going to show you some of the reasons why this is such a special time in this wonderful house. You know, preparations start back in spring and we have to pick a theme and this year the theme is Winter Wonderland. Well, it may not be very cold outside and we haven't had any snow yet, but I can tell you that inside it is a winter wonderland and I'm going to give you the first peek at some of the ornaments and some of the decorations that make it such a beautiful Christmas. So if you will, come with me into the blue room. This is where we put the White House Christmas tree and I think you'll agree it's one of the prettiest ever. It's an 18 and a half foot balsam fir from Wisconsin and it was delivered here and then it took quite some effort to get it inside this room. Because the theme is Winter Wonderland, a lot of the ornaments that were sent in this year by volunteers all over the country are snowmen and snow ladies and other kinds of depictions of what winter and wonderland and Christmas mean. Here are some snowmen from Kansas that look like they've spent some time in the land of Oz. And back there is a very brave snowman. He's on his way to the beach in Alabama. Down here, though, from Rochester, New York, we have a beautifully knitted hat and mittens with some children who are getting ready, it looks like, to have a big snowball fight. Well, we also have some sledding grandmas from Las Vegas and some snowshoes from the state of Washington. So everybody brought their own unique take on what it meant to have a winter wonderland if you didn't have snow or if you have a lot of snow. Elsewhere in the house, we have 344 wreaths and 28 trees. In every previous year, we've picked themes where having lots of greenery really was in keeping with the theme. But this year, with Winter Wonderland, of course, you think of ice and snow and all of the glittering that the sun on the snow and the ice sets up for our eyes. There's a lot of silver and a lot of white and a lot of crystal and gold and sparkles because we really wanted people to enter into a fantasy. One of our favorite traditions in the White House is the gingerbread house that is made every year. This year, it is Santa's castle. Once again, designed and made by Roland Messnier, the pastry chef of the White House. And I think it's an amazing accomplishment. There are 80 pounds of gingerbread and 40 pounds of chocolate. So I'm especially pleased at this fabulous creation that Roland has given us to enjoy for the Christmas season. Well, one person who really loves Christmas and all it represents is the president. And look who's joining us now. We're so pleased that he could be here to share this time with all of you. Hillary and I really love the Christmas season. We love the White House. We love this gingerbread castle this year. And we very much love the Christmas in Washington program. We'll hate to miss it this year. But as you know, we're going to the Middle East on a mission of peace. Christmas celebrates the birth of the Christ child in the Middle East 2,000 years ago. The Christ child who became the Prince of Peace. We go there hoping to bring a spirit of peace and reconciliation to the people of that region. We also want peace and reconciliation for the people of the United States. And that is our wish for you, your family, your friends, and for our whole country in this Christmas season. Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays.